Do that one more time. B A G F E D C B A G F E E F G A B C D E F G A B B A G F E D C B A G F E E. Just up and down, right? Till your dog starts barking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the next step is to then go to the piece of music, right? And we want to look at that. Uh, we want to basically go through and call out note names, play, play the notes in the order that they occur, calling out note names using the fingering we established in step three. Okay. So step four, do you got those steps in front of you? Yeah, I've got... I gotta open it up again in a different. Well, no, uh, no. Okay, let me just read it to you. It's go through the piece out of time in the proper order of notes and call out note names as you go. Remember to use the exact fingering that you used in step three and keep your eyes on the music. As you look at the music, see in your mind what your left hand is doing. Mm -hmm. All right. So we want to play back that video we just took. Mm -hmm. All right. So you got to page nineteen up. Yep. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just go through and call out notes. But use that fingering that we set up. G G G G A A A A B B B B G G F F G G A A B B A A G G B B A A G G G A B A B A G A B G A A B A A G G B G B A A A B G B A G A B A G. I'll give you the e wee jeebies, won't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now you know why I didn't go into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the point is, is when you can go through the piece like that without hesitation, then the only thing left to do with it is put it, put the metronome on or, you know, count it off and play it. And that's all there's to it, huh? Yeah. I guess I finished my music lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you have to have the rhythm part too, but with just all quarter notes here, and you know, you got all you got really is quarter notes and quarter note rest. You know, we haven't really got a rhythm thing to deal with yet. So, yeah, there's that part of it that we'll get into in the rhythm reading part. But okay. All right. Now, on four string bass. There are two positions you can play this on. There's the first position, which we just did. Mm -hmm. And the second position is going to involve the open, uh, the replacing the open strings with fifth fret equivalents. So, so this would be the G. Right. So you notice that I'm fingering wise, when I started the open position, I went four, two, open, four, three, open, four, three, open, four. I'm sorry. Let me do that again. Four, two, open. Three, two, open. Three, two, open. Three, one, open. Right? Now, if I'm going to replace my fifth fret or my uh, open string notes with fifth fret notes instead of, you know, playing the G on the fifth fret of the D string as opposed to open G, then I'm going to shift my starting point to the third finger on that B. And now I'm going to finger it three, one on the G string, four, two, one on the D. 4, 2, 1 on the A, 4, 2, 1 stretch on the E, and then, of course, the open E. Now, because of that F, that's the lowest position I can play without shifting my hand. Because if I go up any higher, then I'm going to actually have to shift, I'm going to have to go down and move my hand to grab that low F. Mm -hmm. So in this position, I do the same thing. I go up and down, you know, step three. B A G F E D C B A G F E E F G A B C D E F G A B B A G F E D C B A G F E. Up and down doing that, right? Make that mental movie and then go back to the piece and then do step four. G G G G A A A A B B B B G G F M G G A A. Sorry. 
G G A A B B A A G G B B A A G G G A B A B A G A B G A A B A A G. Just be able to rattle them off. Wow. Okay. So the cool thing about going through these steps, as tedious as they are, is that you're reinforcing all the stuff. Mm. You know, you're reinforcing note names, you're reinforcing written range.